Hey there, welcome back to Cooking with Violet Vixen. I'm still running a little bit behind with everything. So tonight I'm doing an easy one. It's called Greek Marinade, which you can use for an assortment of things. However, I thought it would go so good with chicken breast and I'm serving it with a Greek salad that I made a few days ago. So here's what we need. I've just got the chicken breast in water at the moment because I was going to do this yesterday but I needed an extra day to rest. Uh, I also thought this one would be a good one while I'm sick because it's got a lot of garlic and lemon in it and so they're good things for while you're sick. So come on in and I'll show you what we need. Okay, so I've got everything ready. So it's three lemons, finely grated rind and juice. So to do your finely grated rind, you use one of these zesters and I've just zested that onto a plate and I have squeezed the juice of the three lemons which I'm going to put through a sieve because it's got a lot of seeds in it. Um, quarter of a cup of fresh oregano. My fresh oregano got less and less fresh as the time went on because this is so overdue. I should have just stuck it in the freezer but... Anyway, I've managed to crumble up a quarter of a cup of um, what was fresh. It's not dried. It, it, well, it is now. Two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. That's this one here. Four cloves of garlic, which we're going to crush. I've just peeled them. Just got to put them in the, the crusher. Um... One cup of natural yogurt. I thought I had some other yogurt to use, but because I haven't been eating yogurt because I've been sick, I had to open the new one. So this is a pot set yogurt. <coughs> Excuse me. And a third of a cup of extra virgin olive oil. I'm just using the normal olive oil. Obviously, if you've got the extra virgin olive oil, it is going to be better. But don't stress too much. Just use olive oil if that's all you've got okay you're also going to need a jug and I would recommend a metal spoon to stir it all in together uh, I've got the oven on 200 at the moment because I'm going to cook the chicken breast I'm basically just going to brush it on the chicken breast and then cook it and serve it with the salad so all I need to grab is a tablespoon measurer you have to forgive me because I'm still still a bit weak, so I'm sitting down. So, But the funny thing is I need to eat healthy to get better. So the only way I can eat healthy to get better is to cook. So anyway, you're on my adventure with me. All right, so this is the easiest thing ever because everything's just going all in the same jug. So in goes that zest. I'll just leave that aside so I've got the plate. Uh, we're going to strain the juice through and I'm only saying to strain it through so that I don't end up with the seeds in there. As you can see there's quite a lot of seeds in there. All right so that can be set aside. Um, the oregano which is finely chopped. I'm just going to try and swirl that through. I want as much juice as I can. I'm not too worried about the, the pulpy juice, just the, the liquid. And it's hard to tell how much juice you're going to get out of three lemons until you actually squeeze them. See, they weren't very big lemons. But... They did the trick. All right, the quarter of a cup of fresh oregano finely chopped, sort of. Uh, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. In goes that. 
our four cloves of garlic, which we're going to crush. Now the good thing about this crusher is I can do two at a time. I hope. I really still don't have a lot of strength. Don't get sick, whatever you do. I don't want to give away what season it is because obviously I'm very behind between filming and that. But just don't get sick, that's all I'm going to say to you. And if you do, choose to eat healthy because you'll heal quicker. I'm just going to stand up to smash the shit out of this one. All right. That's a lot of garlic. That's good. Colds and flus, be gone. All right. The yogurt goes in next. At this time, I would suggest that we give it a stir. There we go. And our last ingredient is our olive oil. In it goes. Cool. All right, now that we've got everything in, Give it a final stir. All right. I'm going to grab the chicken and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got two large chicken breast fillets here. I have been looking forward to this, but as I said, I just have been too, too tired. And not really hungry. And yesterday I had to hop out to go and do some errands and I thought I'll get lunch while I'm out. Well, I don't need to tell you how things end when that happens. Get home, you don't feel like making anything for dinner, do you? Okay, now this is definitely made a lot. And I don't really want to good idea to try and marinate this in the morning, which was the other thing that I was going to try and do, but I wanted to sleep in. I can't win. To be fair, I am still sick and it's hot. Oops, I half gave away the season then, didn't I? I'm just going to use all of it, and the only reason is because I'm not going to be cooking anything else with it. So it's going to marinate and cook. All right, so I'm going to give this probably about 20 minutes one side, 20 minutes the other side, and I'll check back in with you then. See you soon. So I gave them 20 minutes one side, 20 minutes the other side. Well, the second time I elevated them on this rack, kept the marinade underneath so it would sort of steam up underneath it, uh, turned them over and gave them a final 15 minutes on the other side. They are ready to go. So I would like to thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. This has been Greek marinade for chicken. Enjoy and I'll catch you next time. Bye!